Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. Now before we get into it, I wanted to talk about last video. A couple of you guys in the comment section were upset about the bow game and how the bow was treated and stuff like that. So I just wanted to go over a couple of things. One, first and foremost, this is most important, I would never ever ever get anyone banned for anything, nonetheless playing bad in a Brawl Stars game, the report system, it doesn't work. Just flat out doesn't work. I have personally tried to report many people who have constantly thrown my Power League games. If I want to get someone banned or something like that, I have to go to Frank or to Danny and personally ask them, send them their tag, all that stuff. That one report is not going to do anything to the bow and I know that. Second off, if you guys want to see real games and want to see me in actual time and don't want to see cookie cutter videos where I play 10 and I pick the best two and show you guys so you guys can see my actual reaction, my actual emotion, stuff like that. There are going to be some stuff where I get frustrated and say some things. It's already a YouTube video where I'm holding back stuff that I want to say, holding back how I really feel. I'm kind of just putting a smile on my face and playing. But with that being said, you know, obviously I'm not trying to lose. Obviously I'm going to get upset. If you guys want to see losses, that type of stuff is going to come with it. Um, I reached out to the bow. Uh, I didn't get a response. If he's in the comment section, you can DM me on Twitter, on Discord, whatever you want. And we can talk about it uh, and figure stuff out if you're upset at all. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't get anyone banned. It's a really big kind of overreaction by you guys. Um, I feel like you guys should know that as a tier 3 creator, as someone who spends 10 hours a day on the game, I'm not going to get someone banned. I'm not going to do anything like that or, you know, just do anything wrong in general. So again, I apologize to the bow, uh, but from my viewers, I expect a little bit less of an overreaction for stuff that's, you know, so basic and not like nothing really even happened. Uh, so with that being said, let's just uh, hop into the video and let's keep it going. All right. So going to the game, we got someone else who has a shiny green name, just like us and a diamond. So, you know, maybe he's a fan. Maybe he's going to be on the channel. So, you know what? I won't make fun of him at all. It's not like I made fun of a bow. I won't even get mad. And I'm, you know, I'm going to ban bow as well. So, you know what? Now there's not going to be any more bows in my game. Uh, but with that being said, we're going to try one time to show you guys the entire draft, how it plays out, stuff like that. Uh, and we're only going to do two games because draft takes a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so we are going to ban Tick and Gene. Now, Tick and Gene are two really good first picks. Tick kind of fell off a little bit as a first pick because tanks are so good. Kind of the same with Gene, but still really good first picks. And they're going to ban Sam, Grom, and Squeak. So they actually have really good bans. This is something that I would do in, in a competitive game. You ban Squeak so you can take Penny or Janet, stuff like that. It's actually really smart. Um, so looking at the available brawlers, I kind of want to go with Piper. Now, Piper isn't necessarily the best pick here. Um, but in comp, you know, we might actually end up going with Piper because we do have last pick. Which means we can counter tanks if they go tanks. We can counter stuff if they go uh, a run it down comp. Now, the Brock pick is kind of interesting. Because with 2-3, what you want to achieve is you want to kind of cover all your bases. So if we're taking Piper, something that's good into long range, something that can break the map a little bit, stuff like that. With our second pick in the 2-3 slot, we want to take something that counters tanks, um, does pretty well into lanes, because then obviously they can go something like Max, which counters both of us. So if I were to make that pick, I would have probably gone with Otis. Because what do you really go into an Otis and a Piper? You kind of have everything covered. Alright, dude got us with the dodge. Um, but yeah, you kind of have everything covered when you take two things like that. And instead of getting countered like we did with the max and the dude obviously dodged, um, you know, you can get a pretty good draft. So we're going to run it back again. Shooting star, they have first pick. So the number one rule when someone has first pick on shooting star is you need to get Piper banned because Piper is the strongest brawler in draft on shooting star. Because what the, the thing with Piper is if you have Piper not into Nani, it's a per it's a free game. There is nothing that you can do about it. Like the other team's just gonna wreck you. But if Nani isn't banned and Piper isn't banned, then Nani instantly becomes the best brawler, and they're gonna have Nani and you're gonna have Piper, and you just can't win that lane. So it's just really imperative that you ban Piper. If they go Nani, you can just go Gene. The best part about Nani on this map is the fact that the return to sender counters, you know, big shot stuff. Uh, but if you just go Gene and poke the Nani, it's actually really, really easy to win lane. Uh, just like that. So hopefully someone goes Gene. Spike is not the pick. Jesus Christ. Um, all right. Dude's going to go Spike. Um, so we're going to go Gene. Uh, hopefully this guy doesn't throw our game. 
Spike's a pretty interesting pick on this map. Uh, I would have probably gone Gene and Gus or Gene and Brock. The reason I like to go Brock 2-3 is because so they can't go a thrower, but we can still go a thrower if we want. Um, so here we want to take something like a Gus, something like a Mandy, even though Mandy's banned, I just want to give an example, like a Bonnie, something that just kind of runs them down. Um, I'm going to suggest Bonnie. B is not the pick here, and B is not the pick because B is really good into every single range, or, or sorry, every single brawler that's not range. And range counters it, specifically Nani, specifically Brock, and specifically Bell. So, uh, this is a really bad draft. Please, no one ever copy this draft. Um, this is really, really not good. I might have four just cut, but we are going to try and win this regardless. Um, and we're going to do our best and not get mad at anyone. So, uh, I'm going to try and get the blue star. I'm trying to apply some pressure over here. Um, unfortunately, our B is going to go down, but we... We did get blue, so we're only down one kill here. Uh, yeah, the spike is spinning. I would also spin if I had to deal with that bell lane as a spike. Uh, but you know what? Maybe he's a spike main and he's going to figure it out. We don't know. So we're gonna, uh, I was going to camp in that bush a little bit, try and get a pull, but it doesn't look like that's going to be an option. Uh, this Brock is playing this really, really safe. Staying as far back as possible, basically. Uh, we're going to get the Brock to break its own wall, so that's really good because that just helps us move up a little bit. Uh, we're going to spray out this gadget, get two of them low. We have three of them, so now we can start applying some pressure here. Uh, we should be able to get a kill here. We just got to not rush it, just take our time. But we're looking pretty good. I think that's going to get us at least one kill. It does. Uh, our B is in a tough spot, so we're going to try and get our B out. Please. All right. Good shot by the B. And there we go. So honestly, this shouldn't be working like it is. Um, but it is, I guess, for now. Good shot by the B. Maybe he's just a one-trick B. I don't know. And he likes playing into counters. But we're going to have our super in a shot. So we're going to try and pull this unsuspecting Brock. Never mind. The Brock gave up. So I guess we're just going to pull the Nani. Um, but yeah, it's pretty wild. Uh, Bell should be able to win lane versus Spike like 10 times probably, considering it's a counter and it's just a wide open map in range. So I think the Spike went 0-0, which I can't really ask for anything else outside of it going even. The B did really good. Um, and the Brock on their team, I think they're just being a little bit too passive. Like they can literally just run in a straight line and uh, kind of just take us out, but they're really playing it slow, so uh, we'll see what ends up happening. The Brock is one. We're going to be able to get the Brock really easily, and we're also going to get the Nani pretty low. Um, we should be able to get this kill. We will. That's the best part about Gene. It's, it's just so easy to clean up, and again, just take out that return to sender. Um, it can't do anything to a Gene. It does like 20 damage or something, so just getting it out is really important for your teammates. And yeah, you can kind of just chill right here, do your own thing. Um, they're getting... Oh my god, oh my god. I'm just trying to pull the Nani when it uses head, so I'm trying to stay somewhat in the mix here. Oh my god. Oh, and he was one shot too, that's so bad. But as long as we're somewhat close, I think Nani's going to use head now. Which is a really bad idea. You definitely don't ever want to use head when someone's close. I don't think he did. But if people are close, you're basically making it a 3v2 when you're in the head. So you never, ever, ever want to do that. That guy's won, so we're just going to be able to get the kill over there. And six stars. So, I mean, we're doing pretty good. Um, we are, I guess, on a main. I'm just going to run into that. Uh, playing Power League, so I guess that makes sense. But yeah, we're chilling. Looking good. This one is looking like a W unless we really hard throw, but I'm just going to camp in a bush and go for a kill. Uh, we call this Dino Ray, where you just sit in a bush and then jump out with your super. That guy stole my kill. I wanted seven stars. Uh, but instead of Dino Ray, I guess I'm... I don't know, Gene. I don't know what to say, really. Uh, but yeah, so it looks like we're going to be able to get the win here. This Nani's got to go back to driving school as it just went around me two times. But yeah, so really bad draft. Don't copy this draft. If you're going to take anything from this, um, 
I don't know, Gene's really good into Nani. That's what I would take from this. And to ban Piper 100% of the time. So really good win for us there. Uh, we're going to get the W, move up a little bit. Let's move on to the second game and let's see what happens. All right, so going into the next game, we're on Hard Rock Mine. Um, this is a really easy one. So here we would take the dog. Hopefully Chris actually takes the dog. If dog is ever open, you definitely want to take a first on this map. First pick is a lot harder than second pick. Second pick, it's really easy. All you want to do two, three is kind of get two brawlers that are well-rounded. You know, so for example, Piper Otis from the Lair Cake draft that we never actually finished. Um, or Gene in a range from the last draft that we just did. Um, but first pick, it's and then you counter with the last pick. But first pick, it's not really that easy. You have to cover all the bases with your first brawler and then four and five. So it's kind of in reverse order. So the instead of getting a counter last pick, what you want is to try and get the very best brawler on the map. So what we got was dog. And then with four and five, you want to kind of cover all the bases. So right now we need a mid and then we need another lane. Um, so I think we should go 8-bit. I'm going to let Yeezy pick on his own and see what he does, see what he picks, and then we'll pick around it. Yeezy's going to go with Carl. Okay, so Carl, really bad pick. You don't pick Carl into Surge because Surge is a counter. Um, and then Gene is pretty good into Carl, so you definitely don't want to take it. Um, I'm going to go with 8-bit. Personally, I hate 8-bit on this map, but I'm going to try it just for fun. Um, if I were to pick a lane, I would probably go Stu or... I don't know, or even Mr. P, to be honest, because I don't really see what they can take into us that's really going to dominate a Mr. P dog in 8-bit. Probably an Ash, I guess, so maybe Mr. P's off the table. Um, but something good into tanks, but not necessarily Carl. I don't know. They go Stu. Stu is probably the pick, to be honest. If we had dog Stu in 8-bit, this would be a pretty easy win. Um, but nonetheless, we do counter the mid. The Stu pick is okay by them. Not really the biggest fan. And I'm going to go Vision and Speed. Now, there's a lot of different 8-bit builds that you can have that are really good. Personally, I like Vision and Speed on this map as the mid. Just because you want to be able to know where everyone is. You're holding the gems. An 8-bit without speed while you're holding the gems is very scary. So, any, you know, boost of speed that you can have is really important. Well, with 8-bit, all you really want to do is get to clipping at the start. Because that's really all that matters in the game. If you can get your turret fast, you're going to win unless you throw. If you can't get it fast, you're going to lose because they're going to back you up really easily. So I'm just going to chill around here, wait for the gene or someone to overextend so I can get my turret. A couple shots off. There we go. And now we're just going to slide this right over here. And now we're just this, you know, kind of insane killing machine right now that can do a lot of damage. So again, our draft isn't really the best, but it's probably going to work out just because most of the games usually work out. Um, and for your turret, I probably wouldn't put it over here just because it's really easy to take out. I would probably put it behind. Um, but now we just got to be careful about this gene that is lurking the mid. See how we have vision though? We're always kind of knowing where it is. It's really important. Again, oh, we know it's somewhere around here, so we're not going to go too aggro. Just trying to make sure we don't lose all of our gems. Surge is still behind us. And you don't want to throw your turret down when you have another one. Because you want them to waste ammo on the turret. And there we go. We're just going to go behind the bag. And really easy. Now this gene has no charge towards pull. We know exactly where he is. And uh, we, are, we still have three TPs left. So this is looking like a pretty done game at this point. We're going to pick this up. Didn't even need any of the TPs. So really good game right there. Um... The Carl, I don't know. The Carl was a pretty interesting pick. I'm still not the biggest fan of the way that that went. But you guys saw the dog kind of just held lane all game. You can't be picking Surge into dog because dog counters Surge, dog counters Gene, and they pick two things that the dog counters into it. So you can't you can't be doing stuff like that. Like doing stuff like that is just goofy. Uh, but if you can get a first pick dog on this map, it's really good because it kind of counters a lot of the lanes. And it's just the best brawler on the map. Kind of how Rico used to be, but this one is a uh, Rico with bags that also gives treats. So again, we're going to play the start a little bit slow. We're just going to try and get our super. And if you're playing Gene into this, all you're really trying to do is poke and help your lanes. So your lanes can move up and put pressure on the 8-bit. You don't want to really be doing anything else into this. Uh, Yeezy's doing a really good job. I'm going to shoot under. He's going to shoot over. It's really important to work with your teammates on stuff like that. So... 
Make sure you guys are doing that. But this, again, this is looking like a game over already. Um, another pretty good draft. I mean, no drafts with randoms are going to be perfect. So if the worst thing we have is a, is a Carl, then, you know, we've been through worse. We've had a bow on our team before. Um, but yeah, they're probably going to take that out. So I'm just going to move my turret down there. By the, thing, by the way, the bow thing is a joke. Please don't get mad at me again. Uh, pretty easy clip over there. And yeah, this is this is pretty simple. Now, the scary thing is we don't know where the gene is. So I'm just going to go back there. But I wouldn't suggest doing that. If you're up 8 nothing and all you have to do is get 2 more gems and you have 3 more TPs, I wouldn't put yourself in a position where you can die like that. Now, this Carl, I don't know exactly where he's going. Uh, but he's going to survive on literally 1 HP gonna get that kill over there again didn't really need to go that aggro especially the carl but you know we did anyways we got the win and that is gonna be it for today so two pretty clean games two wins two star players whatever we are gonna move up in the rankings and again you know we're kind of far away we're gonna start uploading a little bit more frequently um but you know what we're making our way up there now with that being said to end this video i'm actually moving to las vegas so i'll probably have one more video out uh that i have pre-recorded that i'm gonna do while i'm moving but expect more content i'm going to be settled in by february 3rd february 4th so it's going to be a couple days um and then i'm going to get the content ramping back up again so if you guys enjoyed like comment subscribe all that and i'll see you guys again later peace hey you yes you there watching this on your phone have you ever wanted to be the best the most handsome the most loved player on your team and support your favorite creator at the same time well I have good news. You can be all of that and more, by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.